First Light is solving two huge problems in healthcare, the epidemic of deadly hospital infections and the rise in superbugs that are resistant to most antibiotics. And we have developed a new technology that allows us to get much faster test results and to solve, determine what's the right antibiotic to cure infections in just four hours. Today it takes four days. It takes four days to figure out what you got and what's the right antibiotic to treat it. Um, and that's a big problem because it leads to uh, doctors have to prescribe powerful broad spectrum antibiotics not knowing what the patient has and even if they need an antibiotic and that leads to overuse of antibiotics and increase in antibiotic resistance. Plus the four days means the patient may not be on the right antibiotic for those four days and patients can die in that time yeah. frame. So what we can do is figure out what's the actual right antibiotic for that particular infection in just four hours. So for most of our tests, it's a 15 minute test to detect in whether a patient has an infection and also um, what the identity of the infectious agent is. And then um, we determine what's the right antibiotic in four hours. We use a simple digital camera, just like the one in your cell phone, and we can count microscopic cells, viruses, and even molecules um, using this camera. We count the cells um, instantly with our software, um, and because we can count the cells, we can figure out what's the right antibiotic to cure the infection, because the way you figure out the right antibiotic is you figure out which one stops the cells from growing or increasing in numbers. Because we're counting the cells, we can really quickly tell which antibiotic stops them from growing. In the hospital, the um, patients are dying of infections like ventilator-acquired pneumonia and blood infections and surgical site infections. And you very quickly have to determine the right antibiotic to cure them um, because they can, um, they can, their uh, infections can get worse quickly and they can die. One out of 24 people gets a life-threatening infection while hospitalized. 75,000 people a year die of these infections. We um, are aiming to be the first company that can quickly and inexpensively determine the right antibiotic. We can detect any kind of pathogen, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and we can also rapidly and very sensitively detect the toxins that these uh, bugs can make to cause serious disease. And that's really unique in, uh, in the technology that's out there and that's emerging. And in the hospital, these infections come in the form of lots of different samples, respiratory samples, urine samples, stool samples, blood samples. We can test any of those, and we do it much more, um, much sim more simply than other technologies. We don't have to do any sample prep. You just put it right into our little disposable cartridge, and uh, we can test it directly, um, you know, what, what's causing the infection and what's the right antibiotic. The device we're making is a benchtop device, which can be moved and it can be in um, you know small clinics, but it has the potential to be very small. Um, we've made prototypes that uh, do one test at a time and, and really it has the potential to be handheld. You just put the sample in the cartridge, you put the cartridge in the machine, and the machine does everything else and reports the results automatically. Because it's done directly from the patient sample, and because we can count very low numbers of cells, um, it, it means that we can get the answer very quickly. Our cartridges are capable of detecting many, a single, in a single patient sample, they can detect many different pathogens and also many different antibiotics simultaneously, um, all in that one cartridge. So this will cost around $25,000 for the instrument, and that's a fraction of what comparable devices cost today. Um, and then our consumable will cost uh, on the order of 10 to $15, and that is um, also a fraction of what rapid tests cost today. We'll launch with um, two tests for our hospital infection market for MRSA and C. difficile. Those two applications actually cover 50% of all the hospital, uh, all the money that's uh, spent on hospital infections. Mm -hmm. We're early stage startup company, so we're in early product development. We have our first commercial prototype instruments. So we're in this product development process, um, which will get us through the FDA and all manufacturing and through the FDA in about two years.